It is still yesterday. And it's a beautiful evening. Probably uh, the episode that you watched has only been uploaded for about an hour or so. And what I've done here is, well, is, uh, you can see I've put the second box on. Although, mind you, you might think it's the same one, but it's not. This is the one that goes on the other side. And uh, I put my extension tubes on between the camera and the macro lens. It allows me to move in probably half again as close. Nowhere near as close as the super macro, but it's it's just it's something I hardly ever use. You'll probably notice that the corners are cut off. Yeah, it's, it's uh, something that I thought would be handy, but it turned out that it wasn't, so I don't use it. I've had it for about, oh, I guess over five years. Anyway, I want to show you the mistake I made on uh, on the other one that I put in, put on. And I'm, I'm sure that a lot of you saw me making that mistake. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just move over. I'm going to take the extension tubes back off and we'll get back to just the macro lens. Okay, we're back to normal. And uh, you can see my mistake. I put the uh, the extra thin on too thick and it solidified a whole bunch of uh, of uh, plastic there and it kind of pooled in the corner and I, I, I saw it doing that but I had thought that that would probably you know all evaporate and sort of shrink but it didn't. Now I don't know if it's going to be worth my while to try and pull that out of there. Um, I moved this now. I hope it's not out of focus. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if I should try and, you know, cut that out of there and then take some extra thin and kind of, you know, paint it, paint it, you know, you know how extra thin will, will smooth over roughened plastic like little tiny burrs or sanding marks and, or something like that. Um, or should I just leave it? Uh, we are just moved right in here. I, I I can see that just with my glasses, ordinary glasses, so I don't know. Maybe I should try and do something about it. Um, I, I think I will. I don't know if I'll work at it yet this evening or what's going to happen here. Anyway. Okay, I cut it out. <laughs> and I think I made it worse. So why am I laughing, right? Well, when I removed the... Uh, plastic uh, sort of in behind there it was almost like a little air pocket so that's why it looks as bad as it is now I haven't tried to uh, you know to brush that with the extra thin I thought I might just try that on camera okay can I get in there now Hard not to move it. Sorry about that. You know, I think I'm going to have to uh, take it and uh, hold it in my hand here. It is smoothing over. I'm d I'm just going to have to do this off camera, and then we'll look at it. Now, do you remember about two years ago we made up some sprue goo out of? Uh, some extra, some extra, extra thin that I had left over. And uh, I took a tiny little bit of that sprue goo on a toothpick. And um, I think it's, it's, it's better than it was, but not as good as had I done it right the first time. Anyway, let's move on here. Okay, I thought I would show what are extension tubes. And uh, those of you who are camera buffs, you'll know exactly what they are. But if you're not a camera buff, you won't have any idea. And uh, these are the ones that are designed for my camera. They're a little bit complicated in that they have to have 
electrical connections on on the inside of each one of the rings. Now, the idea is that you're supposed to be able to use them individually, but I always use the, you know, I always use them the, now I probably won't be able to get it back together again here. Okay, got it. Uh, I always use them, all three of them hooked together, and the idea is that they're, it's completely hollow. There's no glass or anything in it. It's not like a lens. And, and all it does is it allows you to move the lens out further from your camera body so, so that you're able to focus a little closer. So, yeah, I just thought I'd show you what, what extension tubes are. This is the macro lens, by the way. Well, let's get our coffee cup washed up for the day, and we'll see you in the morning. It is the next morning and I checked my computer a few minutes ago and uh, we got a message from Jason and he was, uh, well actually he, he did a special little video for us. I have just been watching um, the model ship episode 790 and saw the predicament that you have um, wound it up in. Um, and there is a solution, I believe, to your problem, and I just wanted to show you um, how we can go about that. So I, my understanding... And uh, he was mentioning how I could probably re-liquefy the joints and pull, pull these apart. Um, yeah, I would say something like that would work just fine if you were trying to pull apart, you know, something like this. That, that was, you know, that didn't have a whole lot of uh, parts that have to be all pulled apart at the same time. You know what? I'm going to reposition everything here, and uh, I'll show you why I, I think for most instances, that's a great idea. Thank you, Jason. But for this instance, I don't think it will work. Uh, just, just let me recompose everything here. Okay, I sure hope that this is not going to be one of those days that my voice will just not cooperate. And every time I try to speak loudly, it uh, sort of breaks on me. Anyway, what we've got going on here with this particular module is it was kind of put together a little bit like uh, a Chinese puzzle. Uh, in other words, <clears throat> this... <clears throat> excuse me this this piece right here and this piece right here were glued together and then it was slid into sort of a groove or a it was like a tongue and groove and it was a very very tight tongue and groove and there uh, and and yes if if only this layer and this layer had to be you know separated by by liquefying the the uh, seam uh, I can see where this this would prob probably work but because there it, it has been shoved into that you might say groove um, and and there it, it and it was a, a very very tight fit um, I can't see it coming apart I would have to liquefy so much of it that it would end up deforming on us at least I'm, I think that's what would happen and I don't want to take the chance I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, do the, the best I can here uh, you know I'm going to I, my plan is I'm going to spray everything first with with the number 22 and and then I'm going to do my best to to paint the deck as as far in as I can get, you'll you'll notice that that when I when I take these things out of there, um, I I can sort of get in, and uh, and then I'll I'll paint these separately and shove them in and glue them into place, um, yeah. But you know what? Thank you so much for that for that thought, uh, and you know for for separating something like like uh, 
two pieces like this or like what you what you demonstrated that's a great idea yeah great idea okay a few minutes has passed here and I was just read looking at this and I was thinking is it possible that Jason's idea would work here and then I realized that not only is there one tongue and groove joint right here like this deck slides into a slot right here and this deck slid into another slot up here so we had two slots both going at the same time no it just isn't gonna work okay so where does that leave me now except at the place where my son is coming over later this afternoon to help me put the summer tires on the car okay we are about as done as we can get with step 52 until we paint uh, we got these last three pieces put on here um, all right just let's just see what 53 is all about here okay 53 is a bunch of little parts here um, that will have to be painted before they're put on it does appear that there is another part similar to this that has to be glued down I want to be careful that I don't go and do that I don't want to be doing anything now you know gluing any large pieces together and get myself boxed in like like I've just done here uh, I, I think I think I will be able to get out of this mess I'm in um, should I go ahead and uh, and get these pieces in 53 I don't know now I've just skipped ahead here to uh, step 55 and um, okay that goes in there like that now the reason being is I was I was looking there was some more photo etch uh, photo etch gussets that have to be glued in place I guess they they go up against this this piece of the tripod on both sides and I was thinking that that's probably something a person would want to glue in place before you paint the whole thing and yet on the other hand it had been my intention to paint this piece before I get all those little pieces in uh, mounted in the deck that, that I'm supposed to mount in there um, <laughs> decisions decisions you know this uh, I am finding this particular uh, build a lot harder than the Bismarck and at least I, I think it is maybe I've forgotten how hard the Bismarck was <laughs> okay as you can see I'm getting myself set up to spray and that's what I'm going to be doing I guess for the rest of this afternoon just getting everything all lined up so that I can just do everything in sort of a mass production type process we'll be using the number 22 uh, for for all of it and uh, I hope I have enough and uh, I'm not going to video it the reason I'm not going to video it is because I'm, I'm going to have to be holding everything just exactly right so that the, you know, to, to get the airbrush just at the perfect angle to, to get into places. And I'm going to be so busy concentrating on that that I'm going to, I'm going to probably slowly drift it out of the field of view. <laughs> and that's going to be really frustrating. As, uh, so I want to build a I give all my attention to to the spraying um, yeah it's not like when the the part is is sitting down on something like this and you're just coming in like this or like this and you know it's, it's nice and easy uh, I'm gonna have to figure out what, what am I gonna mount these on so that I can you know ho hold it in my hand and get the angle just right um, I'll probably stick something right there because right here there's there's going to be a, another part of the ship so I don't need to worry if this doesn't get painted 
Also, there's gonna there's gonna be a piece here and a piece here, so I'll I'll figure it out. But I'll be working on that later this uh, the, for the rest of this afternoon. And I gotta get my uh, my tires uh, lined up for when my son comes over and stuff like that. So today's video, I'm afraid, is gonna be uh, a little bit disjointed and cut off a little bit short, like uh, right about now. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.